What is up YouTube? So today I'm gonna do kind of two vlogs in one. Uh, I'm gonna do a mini thing real quick. I'm gonna talk about my tattoo that I have that people always ask me about. I just got it. So people are kind of confused. I will try to show you guys as good as possible or as well, whatever the fucking right word is. So it's gonna be a half sleeve. That is what I wanted. I didn't want to do something small for my first one. You can see here, Lighthouse. This is a lighthouse in North Carolina. At least it's supposed to be kind of resembling that. Um, it's called Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. So that's this lighthouse. Then we have a boat here. Uh, and then we have basically your whole scenery type thing. You've got your beach here and down here, which is going to be colored in uh, next month. You've got the rest of the water here. You've got the clouds that aren't finished yet. All the, There's a lot that still has to be done to this, actually. This is four and a half hours of sitting and getting it done. I'm going to have another four and a half hours coming up. So the meaning for me behind the tattoo, I've always wanted a tattoo since I was like, 18. I didn't want to get something I wasn't sure I wanted on my body forever, so I waited. Um, pretty much every year I'd ask myself, do I still want a tattoo? What do I want? Same thing kept coming up in my head. The lighthouse reminds me very much of my mom and my grandmother. More so of my mom. Um, my grandmother passed away and she used to always give me lighthouses. I actually have a lighthouse thing up here that she gave me. It wasn't my thing. Not really at all. Um, seeing them was kind of cool but I didn't really care I wasn't gonna go out of my way to see a lighthouse my mom on the other hand she'll go wherever to see a lighthouse um, so it's something that will always remind me of her when I was younger I went on vacation to uh, I can't I'm pretty sure it was this lighthouse I get confused when I think about it because I've actually seen a few even though I didn't care about it uh, I went to North Carolina was at I believe this lighthouse or another lighthouse I don't know they were moving it and I was like, when I was little, I'm like, how the hell are they moving this lighthouse? They had it up on, it had been lifted up on wood. And at that specific time, it wasn't actually being moved, but it was up and in the process of being moved around. I don't know why they were moving it. I don't know shit about lighthouses. But that's something I'll never forget is that vacation with my grandmother and my parents um, and that lighthouse. And just, just kind of the meaning for me is it's always a reminder of my mom the boat is there for my dad my dad loves to go fishing obviously he doesn't fish on a on a big ship like that but it's just the water being out of the water is something that reminds me of both of them um to me it's kind of also like a a reminder of them and the way they live life uh a lot of tattoos you'll see especially of lighthouses in the ocean always has this crazy kind of background these wild waves and crazy shit going on right i wanted something simple just to remind me like they they care about everything around them um they take everything slower they don't they they just know they've taught me a lot about life and they, the way they live life is a good way to live life i don't think i'll ever be as good as them or live life the exact same way as them but it's just a reminder for me to uh kind of take things slower kind of just remember that everything in the moment is kind of it's important and not, not to look back everything not to be always worried about the future uh, or you know what's the point that's that's kind of how it is for me it's mainly dedicated not really dedicated but it's just a thing for my mom and my dad I specifically wanted the boat to have its own kind of half of the tattoo and the lighthouse so the other half and that's just how it always be my mom seems to think it's for my grandmother um, who passed away and she was really in the lighthouses but that's not I don't know why that the lighthouse is just something that if if I think of an object or something to remind me of my mom it's always a lighthouse and for my dad it's a boat he goes fishing all the time he fishes tournaments um, and those two things will never change they never have changed so I'm glad I have literally I'm, I know I'm not gonna regret this I, I don't regret this uh, I thought about it after I got it I'm like did I really want this is this is this something that <laughs> I don't want on my body and it is um, do I think I'm gonna get a, a ton of other tattoos? No, I don't really have like that urge. Um, I thought about getting a full sleeve just on my left arm. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe a year from now that'll change because I don't even know what I would want. But that's where I am on the tattoo. Now, uh, four minutes of me talking about my tattoo because people ask me, literally I get asked about this every single day, every single day. And I told them I was gonna make a video about it. So now I have, <laughs> now I've done it. So now we're gonna jump into what the real video was supposed to be about. It's about my shoe collection. Boom, bam, there you go. There it is, that's it. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it there. You guys get to see it. But no, really, um, this is, I think there's 30 clear boxes here. Uh, for me, it just looks cool. That's honestly why I did it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can see the shoes, it's easier. I don't have to go looking through all my boxes and shit, which is useful, but also looks cool. I can walk somewhere in my room and be like, here you go. Here's my shoe collection. Look at it, awesome. 
But yeah, I've got shoes up a little ways that you can't see and down like three more rows. Uh, it's only three across and like, what do we got? I don't know, 13 boxes up or some shit like that. I don't know. There's 30 boxes, 30 some boxes. I'm just going to show you guys the shoes that people ask me about the most and then I'll pan over and show you guys the rest. First shoe. It's gonna be my newest shoes. I'm gonna show you my two newest pairs of shoes. We've got Yeezys Pirate Blacks. Most of you do, you all don't know shit about shoes. I don't know what the fuck a Yeezy Pirate Black is. So Kanye West designed these shoes with Adidas. Most comfortable shoes I've ever put on my foot in my entire life. They're overpriced as shit, but the black, this is my favorite, this is my favorite shoes, period. It just blends in well. It doesn't, it's nothing too wild. Um, it looks really good on your foot. It is the most comfortable shoe I've ever, like I said, put on. It's it's light, it's comfy, it looks cool, super expensive, overpriced. Um, it's a nice shoe. I wear them. I promise you, I do. Uh, you can see, you probably can't see in the in the camera, but it, they've been worn. I will wear them a lot. Got these for my birthday. Next up, we've got my other pair of shoes for my birthday. So my parents. And me, I basically bought those shoes for myself, but my parents paid for some of them because they wanted to give me something I wanted. And when I want shoes, I know how to get the best price. So I'm not going to say, hey, go buy these wherever you can find them. They're going to spend too much money. So I actually bought those and paid for half for myself. They were a birthday present. Uh, my parents do very much support me a lot. Um, but there's no way they're buying me some expensive ass shoes like that <laughs> on their own. So I got these next. I just wanted to cover that because people ask me, ask me these questions all the time. I'm not afraid to share the information with you guys. I'm not trying to hide anything from you all, so I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, these are from my girlfriend. These are NMDs. Once again, another pair of Adidas. When this video comes out, same day, there's gonna be a buttload of colorways like this. They're not gonna have this sock lining. They're gonna be like another pair I'll show you in a second. You can get a pair of these. 120 bucks or 170 bucks, depending on which exact ones you want. Most comfortable shoes that are affordable, I would say. Um, these are just a little bit less comfortable than the Yeezys, in my opinion. I'm not a big Adidas fan. I never, ever wore Adidas until like a month ago uh, when I actually got my first pair of Yeezys and I got a pair of NMDs. These shoes are crazy comfortable. Like I, I tell everyone, they're like, if, if I want a pair of comfortable shoes, what do I buy? What, you can, what do I buy? These. Adidas NMD. The letter N, the letter M, the letter D. Uh, I believe they're NMD runners. Go on Foot Locker Finish Line uh, Champs, whatever, today when this video comes out. I think it's today. There's a bunch coming out. Now, in the shoe realm, culture, whatever, these shoes sell out instantly. But since there's so many colorways coming out, I think there's a chance you guys can get a pair. There's a lot of colorways coming out. So if you want a pair, you're looking for a new pair of shoes, whatever, these are what you're going to look for. Go grab some. Uh, this sock thing I thought would look cool. It looks a little weird, a little bit. It'll look better when you're wearing jeans or pants or whatever. Um... I have another pair I'm going to show you right now that doesn't have this. There's two different kinds of styles. So this is the first pair of NMDs I got. All whites. I don't recommend the all white. They stain easily. I've washed them. I've cleaned them. I've put shoe protector on them. It doesn't do shit uh, with these. I don't know why. I can clean off the dirt and stuff. That's easy to clean. I do wear these. They're dirty. I promise you I wear them. These are the first pair I got. So you notice this doesn't have the sock bullshit thing. It, much more simple, much more like a normal shoe. Get a pair of these, get a pair of these. Any color, if you want white, you're gonna get dirty. Just let them get dirty, deal with it. Mine are dirty and you really can't even tell. In this camera, you sure as hell can't tell. But they're really like starting to fade and change color. They're not as white as they're supposed to be. I still wear them all the time. Comfy shoe, most comfortable shoe. These were 120 bucks when I bought them. I got them for the retail price. Grab yourself a pair. Try to get them soon, otherwise you won't get them. Just simple as that. The shoes go out crazy. People love these shoes. I understand why, but at the same time, people buy too many of them. So, newest shoes, most comfortable shoes, pretty much covered, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you the shoes that are my favorite colorway. And a colorway is basically, there's different styles of shoes, right? Usually when a shoe comes out in a certain style, there's tons of different colors. So the colorway is... The colors that are involved in that specific pair of, pair of shoes. This is a shoe I got like three months ago. Not the most comfortable. I would play basketball in them. I wouldn't wear them for eight hours a day though. Your feet would start to hurt really bad. I'm just going to grab them. Another pair that I do wear. I'm going to get you guys a close up view of these. These are Kevin Durant's Weatherman's. My shoes are real. 
people who know about shoes know there's tons of fakes so you can get fakes for like 50 bucks uh and they're they're pretty shitty quality usually all my shoes are real uh, i buy them i've bought shoes from flight club riff um i know people that that are really i guess credible would be the word they're not selling me fakes you know my shoes are real so weatherman's i got these recently they're older shoe that i couldn't afford when they came out there aren't that many pairs of them but the colorway is awesome. These start conversations, a lot of my shoes, that's something I like about them. I can walk down the road and someone will be like, hey, nice shoes, blah, 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 and I get to start a conversation with them. I talk to more people about the shoes that I have on my feet a specific day rather than, rather than, more than I talk to people about my car, which is the really, I've never seen any Corvette that looks just like mine, uh, or even video games, like people, I, I've definitely ran into more people talking to me about my shoes that have said, hey, you're weekend, or you play video games, you stream on Twitch, whatever. More people talk to me about these, this specific shoe, this shoe right here, than both video games and my car combined. Which is something you can't really, it's hard to recreate, and it's, there are people I would never talk to. I'm not going to go start a conversation with some random dude, but he'll say, hey, what about your shoes? Or if I see someone's shoes, I'll point them out and say something about them. I'll walk down the road and people will just be like, nice shoes. So instead of, obviously everyone likes a compliment, for me it is a compliment. It means they like the style that I'm wearing that day or I have or whatever, which it, it, it's unique. It's something that's very hard to recreate. So that is one of the major th points and things of the shoe culture that I actually really like and most of you won't ever understand. Unless I figure out a way to explain it better. So we've got, those were Kevin Durant's uh, Weatherman's, KD4 Weatherman's, uh, what are we going to show you next? First pair of expensive shoes that I bought were these, they're LeBron 9 South Beaches. See, they're pink, gray, like an aqua blue type color. They have, um, I forget what this shit is called, man. Carbon fiber. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. This is carbon fiber. Another shoe that is actually very comfortable, these are one of my favorite basketball shoes, not this. These are pretty expensive. Uh, I worked, before I had like a real, real, like before video games were my job, before I, I don't even think I was playing video games then, to be honest with you. I was working, my dad owns his own business, I was working for him. Uh, I was working from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., or no, sorry, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. I was working like 12 hours. Uh, I, hard labor, I guess, it, I wasn't behind a desk, it was definitely me like doing hard labor type stuff. I wasn't like on a construction site. But I worked for four days straight, pretty much would work all night, sleep, and then wake up, eat, and then go back to work, because uh, it was like a two hour drive to get there. And then I went, got my paycheck, I went and bought these. Most of the money went towards these, they were pretty expensive back then when I got them. And it was just a different experience. It was the first time I went into a shoe store that, that has these kind of shoes and bought something. So going there was cool, and just the fact that I was able to actually buy something was, it, it was a unique experience. So I'll always remember when I bought these shoes. Plus my girlfriend went with me and she freaked the fuck out when, when I spent as much as I did on these shoes. I think she was pissed because I wasn't buying her purse or some shit. Not really, she doesn't care. But she did freak out, it was kind of funny. Uh, so those are the LeBrons. What's next, what do we got next? I'll show you guys a shoe. For you video gamers, people call in the shoe world, realm, culture, whatever, they'll call people hype beasts, meaning that person only likes shoes because there's hype around them, because everyone thinks they're cool. Uh, they don't actually care about the shoe, blah, blah, blah. For me, I buy what I like, what I think looks cool. I don't give a shit what anyone else thinks. Um, if you watch my videos and video games, you probably have caught on to that. So just, just to remind you guys, I don't care. I'll show you one or two pairs of shoes that don't cost a lot and no one gives a fuck about. You can go in and buy these in like Foot Lock or anything right now. They are Air Max 90s. When I was in high school and stuff, I would wear these, not this specific colorway, but these shoes with different colors. I had one, I'm pretty sure I only have one pair. I wear them every day. Very comfortable, simple. You can wear them with shorts, pants, whatever. If you want, these are like 80 bucks, 100 bucks, one of the two. Uh, if you want a pretty comfortable shoe, they're not gonna be the most, the nicest thing in the world. They're pretty comfortable, they look good. Air Max 90s are a pair of shoe you should grab. I recommend those shoes to people all the time, like literally all the time. Uh, another pair, these are Nike Zoom, let's see if I can get them out of the box. These are Nike Zoom Rookies, I've had these since I was in high school, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they are nasty, I'm not even going to clean them. They're just a simple white and black shoe. I play basketball on these, but they're kind of heavy. Uh, when I play basketball, I try to get shoes that fit small and aren't that heavy. I did play basketball on these, probably shouldn't have been. 
I don't wear them that much anymore, but these shoes are, you can find these around. Like they aren't like a collector's shoe. I do buy shoes simply because I like them, not just because they're only collectors or everybody wants them, whatever it is. <sighs> All right, so we have those. Let's see, what else can we show you guys? Um, I'll show you guys the other Yeezys I have, I guess, because everyone loves their Yeezys. These are, the other ones are Pirate Blacks. These are the, why can't I think of the colorway for these? I don't know why I can't think of the colorway for these. I'm not even gonna, I literally can't think of the name. I don't know, spacing out, getting nervous on camera or some shit. So these are the other Yeezys. Once again, these are real, I promise you. I'm pretty sure these came from Flight Club. I'm pretty sure I got, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, these might've been from, from Flight Club. My girlfriend has a pair of these too. She likes the Pirate Blacks more, but these are what she got. <laughs> so we both have this pair of shoes. I make sure I never wear them on the same day as her because that, I don't know, that's kind of weird. I got these first before the Pirate Blacks. If I had gotten the Pirate Blacks before these, I never would've bought these. These were more expensive than the Pirate Blacks, sadly. And I like the Pirate Blacks more. If you're gonna go out of your way to get some Yeezys and you think you like a certain colorway, try to see them in person or I recommend the Pirate Blacks. They're nicer and cooler. They're all they're the same comp. These are still a very comfortable shoe. I just like the Pirate Blacks more, simple as that. So I've showed you guys pretty much the more expensive shoes I have. Uh, let's see, what else can we show you? I am going to pan over everything so you guys can see all of the shoes. What can I grab? Uh, let's grab these. So if you're into Jordans, a lot of people love the Jordan 11s. I have, these are the all white ones. They actually don't have the logo here with these. Uh, I can't remember if these are the anniversaries. I, I honestly haven't worn a lot of my shoes lately. So I for, and I haven't been paying attention to shoes because I don't want to buy them. I am trying to save up to do the real world. I gotta buy a house probably in a year, a little bit over a year. I bought a new car and I'm looking to get a truck, a used truck, I'm not gonna buy a new truck. I'm not, not rich here, but I'm trying, you know, the real life stuff. I'm I'm graduating college in December, gotta avoid shoes as much as possible. Can't, I don't know why, I think these are the anniversaries, but these are Jordan 11s. People are obsessed with the Jordan 11s. I don't like them that much, really at all. There's a new pair coming out around Christmas time, the Space Jams from the movie. I'm probably not even gonna get them because I don't like the 11s that much. That's just me. So we got those put away. I guess I'll show you guys a fail. If you guys know anything about Nike, they have Nike ID. You can go in and customize shoes. There's limitations to what you can customize, but usually there's like a special, something special about each pair or whatever that you can do. So I'll show you these literally I, I fucking hate these shoes. They're not the worst, I just hate them. I Nike ID'd these. They are, have fly knit, which is this multicolor stuff here. It make, It's just a really comfortable thing. I have other fly knit shoes that I actually like. I'll show you those in a second. But with these, I thought, I have a ton of shoes that this is usually white, this bottom part. I made it black thinking it'll be different. I don't like these shoes. I've worn them once. You can see, I, I literally, I have a little bit of this here. That's it, I've worn them one time. I don't like these shoes. Maybe someday I will. I'm not going to get rid of them because they're still, these are uh, called Nike Roche or Roches, however you want to say it, R-O-S-H-E. They're a comfortable shoe. The regular pair is like 80 bucks. They are very, very, very comfy and light. But I don't like this specific color thing I did with the, I don't even know what the fuck I did with these. These are ugly. I don't like them. I will, I have the other one sitting somewhere. I'll show you the other fly knits I have that I actually like. So we have Kobe's. And we have Flyknit Racers. These are the first pair I had. These are super light. You can see it all just folds up into nothing pretty much. I've run in these when, I went on vacation somewhere. I ran in these every day. They're very, very comfortable for running. Wouldn't play sports in them. You might break your ankle because of how little support there is. But I like them. The colorway, the multicolor is wild. Uh, in person, it looks crazy. On the camera, it actually looks pretty crazy too. There's pink, green, blue yellow all kinds of crazy shit in there a nice looking shoe these are newer i wore these every day for a while i don't wear them that much now another fly knit it's actually pretty squishy i just don't want to fold these up the one thing i don't like about these kobe's when i step around they squeak i don't know if you can hear it 
I don't know if you guys could hear that. Hopefully you could. Yeah, they squeak really loud, so I don't wear them that much. I need to replace the inside bullshit. But the Flyknit thing is cool. They are on a lot of other shoes. You can go and find them probably. Some Flyknit shoe within uh, any Foot Locker finish line. They have different colorways. The multicolor is the more unique colorway of the shoe. So we're gonna, these aren't actually in a box right now. I need to get a new box for the Scobies. Those are just sitting on the other side. What else we got? We've got some Dornbeckers. So these shoes have, a lot of the shoes have stories or points behind them, whatever. These have more of a story. Nike teams up with uh, Dornbecker Children's Hospital. They allow some of the children to design shoes. Then they sell the shoes, they, they produce them. They don't make that many. There aren't that many pairs. I want to say 3,000 or some of these. There might be more. I may be making that up. I don't know. I, I feel like that's a stat that I actually read, but who the fuck knows anymore. Uh, they allow the children to design a shoe that they like. So I believe the kid who designed these, his name was Elijah. These kids are obviously kids that are in the children's hospital. They have health issues. Um, and Nike sells these. And then when they sell them, they take all the proceeds and give them back to the Dornbecker Hospital. It's a good cause. Most of these shoes, though, sadly get resold for hundreds more than they actually sell. So I think Nike sold these for like 200 something, 280 maybe. And then these resell, people try to sell them for $800, $900 which sucks because it'd be cooler if that eight, $900 went to the children's hospital, right? But it is wild that a kid, most these are kids, like usually 13, there's some, I think there's an eight year old design one that designed these shoes. And this is one of the coolest shoes I've ever seen. The coolest colors and combination of things I've ever seen. And a kid designs this or helped design this. Obviously, I don't think they did everything, but they did a lot of this. There's like little lightning in here. I don't know if you guys can see, it might be too shiny. This pair of shoe is more unique to me than any other pair of shoe. And it's the fact that I know a kid designed these and he did better than a lot of other regular shoe designers will ever do in their entire life. It's, it's a cool experience to, uh, to get to pull, put these shoes on. A lot of people in the shoe world know these. I've had literally cross mall or store, I've had people be like, yo, nice Dornbeckers, blah, 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 like all the time. They stand out, people know about them, they're cool. Simple as that. Uh, what's something you guys will know more about? We've got Bel Airs. Let me show you these. All right, so these are Jordan 5 Bel Airs. You can see they're super colorful. They're supposed to kind of resemble Will Smith in The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, kind of the clothes that were worn back then and in those episodes. They are wild. You can see on the inside that this is the part the most that um, reminds me of a, a Fresh Prince episode, just the wild combinations like. I can see him wearing shorts that look just like these. Like, I'm sure there's an episode with him wearing shorts just like these. I don't really like, I put pink laces on these. The other pair actually have green. So it's green and pink laces at the same time. I'm going to make these black. I don't wear these that much because of the laces. I don't, I don't like them. But this is something you guys can understand. These aren't that old. I got these when they first came out. And, I mean, I grew up watching The Fresh Prince. I, I still watch it whenever it's on. Um, and I'm watching TV. It's not all that often, but I still do watch it. So it's just something that I can and can relate to. For me, in the shoe world, in the shoe culture, it's the fact that I can wear these shoes and talk to people about them. It's something that either tells a story for me or I understand, and it's just unique to me. Kind of like those people, I try to try to relate this to people because people are always like, what are, what, why do you collect shoes? What's the point? Blah, blah, blah. Well, why do people collect coins, stamps, hats, clothes, artwork, whatever it is, it's the same kind of thing. For me, I like to be unique. I like to have something other people don't have, or I like to start conversations with them, or it's just a way for me to express my style. I don't buy crazy clothes. This is a fucking $8 t-shirt. I don't give a shit. But my shoes are usually the point of my outfit, if you want to call it. I don't really try to put on outfits, but the point of my ensemble, I guess that might be, that people are going to be like, oh, look at those. Those are cool. Rather than me wearing a fucking pink shirt and green shorts, you know, like just something like that. It's different, it's a way for you to express yourself. It is a culture that most people don't get to be a part of. If you collect anything, you understand there's a culture within the way you collect things. If you are a coin collector and you ran into someone else who collects coins, you're gonna have something to fucking talk about, right? Well, the same thing with any, you don't have to collect shoes. If you know about shoes or you like shoes, um, a lot of people are just into sports, are actually into shoes. It just kind of goes hand in hand sometimes. And it's pretty fucking awesome to just sit there and talk about that shit. Even, even if it's a pair of shoes I'll never have, it's cool to talk about. And it's also pretty cool for me because I'm in a video game community where people still, you need to buy shoes, right? 
and most people don't want to buy shitty shoes so they'll come to me and they'll ask me what shoes should i get and i can actually help you i'll ask you how much you want to spend what kind of shoe comfortable for sports this or that and i can help you out and it's it's a cool experience i'm gonna make sure to pan over and show you guys the rest of the shoes because there are more some of them still need to be put away i've got jordans i've got nikes the adidas i think i showed you all of them actually but yeah that is most of my collection and you guys kind of get to understand why i do it what i like about it what i have and i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video and show you guys the rest i'll pan over it and hopefully you guys like the collection like the video if there's anything else you guys want to see i don't want to hide anything uh really i mean there are some things i'm not going to fucking talk to you guys about but i like to express and show as much of myself as i can to you guys so if you guys want to see something or there's some video you want me to create tell me I'm not the most creative person so me having ideas from you guys is how i, I make these videos i've i've had this people have asked me to go over my shoe collection for I think like over a year, probably close to a year, and I just now got to it, which is me being stupid. But if people ask for this, I wouldn't do it if you didn't ask, because to me, it's like my collection, and I don't know what other people want to see. I don't know if you want to see that. So if you tell me that, you tell me you want to see, I don't know, what, what I go to eat or whatever, I can, I can do those videos all the time. I can show you guys that stuff. I just need to know what you guys want to see. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about the collection. If you guys collect shoes, talk to me about it. I think it's interesting. Tweet me, whatever. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Link is below. Link is everywhere. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And like I said, just let me know what else you guys want to see in the future videos. I will see you all on YouTube tomorrow.